Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this in my at home tech slacks touch up routine. Let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is take down my old hairstyle. My hair is currently 10 plus months post my last touch up. I've never went this long without tech slacksing my hair and I'm a little scared. Once I take down all of my hair, I'm going to do a light finger detangling before I section my hair into four big parts. Majority of my text relaxing routine is prepping my hair, but I did try something different with this routine, which is why I decided to film it. I have another video with the routine I did for years. I will link it for you if you're interested in watching it. So what I did different with this touch up routine is I used water to detangle my hair and to find the line of demarcation, which is where the new growth hair and the old text relaxed hair meet. I thought it would be easier to find that line if my hair was wet. Okay, so let me go back. Here, I divide my hair into four big parts and I'm going to detangle each part with water. I like to detangling my hair when it's damp so i thought it would be a good idea to include it in my text lax routine stay tuned for a full review of the result then i go on to sectioning out my hair for the relaxer i go into each part and i part the hair like this pretty straightforward if you have more such thicker hair make your parts smaller and vice versa for thinner hair so this is why I wanted to use water. Since I was 10 months post my last touch up, I was scared in finding my line of demarcation. I thought water would make it easier to see that line, but my results were not as great as they normally are. I don't think I will ever wet my hair before relaxing again. I use rubber bands to part the hair, but not only that, I placed a rubber band on the line of demarcation. So I just keep parting my hair into thin strips. I spray with water till I see the line of demarcation. Then I place a rubber band there. Here I am with all of my parting done. Then I go on to protecting my old text taxed hair, aka everything under the rubber band. I like using something thick like this shea butter. I rub it between my hands to melt the shea butter. I take my time and massage the shea butter into my ends. The saying, it gets ugly before it gets better, is very apparent here. I look crazy, but there is a method to the madness. Once that has been applied, I go on to protecting my hairline. I apply Vaseline to the perimeter of my head. I use the Just For Me No Lie Relaxer. I've used this brand for years. I also buy my own neutralizing shampoo. I find that the little package that the box comes with is just not enough for my hair. I take the anti-breakage nourishing oil and I use half the bottle to apply to my ends. You guys, preparation is everything for a text lax touch up. Don't get lazy here because this will make or break your results. Take your time and break the prep work up if you can't do it all at once. Now is the fun part, time to text lax. I add the other half of the nourishing oil and I mix up the relaxer very well. I set up my timer for 10 minutes and I begin. Before I start the relaxing, I feel around my hair to see which part of my hair is the most thickest and most resistant. I apply the relaxer to that hair first. I do this because I want the relaxer to be on that hair the longest. I usually start applying the relaxer to the crown of my head because that's usually the most resistant part of my hair. But I don't know why I started from the back here. I have to blame it on the camera because I swear filming always just makes me forget things so make sure you start relaxing the most resistant hair on your head first and the most weakest slash thinnest part last i apply the relaxer to both sides of the strip of hair i keep one hand clean at all times to be able to move around the hair without getting relaxer on my end the actual application time always goes over 10 minutes by a few minutes. I use the timer to keep me rushing. I like the results of leaving the relaxer on my hair for about 10 to 30 minutes because I like how loose and you know the type of curl that I get from leaving it on that long. When I'm applying the relaxer, I'm not trying to coat each strand perfectly. I'm just trying to get the relaxer on. I will smooth everything out later on. A warning, this video makes text laxing look very easy and simple. I have a lot of practice and I also edited a lot of the parts out to make it simple and easy to see what I'm doing. I would encourage you to practice applying plain yogurt or some kind of a deep conditioner to get the technique and your routine down before you actually use a relaxer. Please take this as a warning and practice before doing this for the first time. I do not want your hair to fall out. Let me know if you would want to see a real time of me text laxing my hair so you can see all the mess and all the... You 
you know, actual difficulty of it because this video is just edited out to make it easy to see what I'm doing. Once I've applied the relaxer to my hair, I apply the relaxer to the perimeter of my head last because that hair is the most thin and fragile and I want the relaxer to stay on that hair the least amount. Once I've gotten all the relaxer on my hair, I start to smooth it out to make sure I coat all of my strands. I just use my fingers. Previously, I've had my husband help me apply the relaxer and I think I'm going to have him or someone else help me from now on because the results just come out so much better. So if you can get help, you should. By the way, make sure you buy enough relaxer because I almost ran out. At this point, the timer has already gone off and I'm just waiting a few minutes till I wash it off. I wash off the relaxer off screen. I literally use half of the neutralizing shampoo. I wash it like 10 times so there's no pink runoff. My hair feels okay, not as amazing as it normally does and I think it was because of me using the water. So next time I'm not going to be using water while I relax I'm to detangle my hair or even use it before I apply relaxer. It just didn't make my hair feel as soft as it normally would. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you soon.